today, I bought this rare Fortnite account on eBay, and apparently it has an unreleased item that isn't in Fortnite yet. Now, I don't actually know what the item is, but I can't wait to see it. So, so starting off this locker tour, let's just start with the gliders here. So he does have the Aerial Assault 1 glider, which is the rarest glider in the game. I've only seen this like three times, and that just proves that he's honestly going to have that unreleased item that he said he had. Now, again, I have no idea what this item is. You might see it in the thumbnail, but I have no clue right now, and it better be insanely rare or else I will be really upset. And then that got scammed, basically. So I really hope that I did not get scammed. But yeah, let's see how many gliders he has. So he has 157 gliders again. I can't even believe that he has the Aerial Assault 1 glider. Again, this is literally the rarest glider in Fortnite. <laughs> that is actually so insane. I'm so excited I bought this account, though. So let's see. He has three Marvel Series gliders, one Icon, and he also has three Gaming Legend Series gliders. Now, I'm not really seeing anything else super rare in the gliders. Oh, we didn't check for the Mako glider. Does he have that? Yes, he does have the Mako glider and the Sir Glider the Brave from Season 2. Now, he has like every single rare glider you would ever need in Fortnite, like every single one. So I feel like there's no much more else to say. This account is absolutely insane so far looking at the gliders. So let's just move on to the pickaxes. Now, the pickaxes usually get a little bit more rare and they're pretty cool to look at as well. Now, let's just click on this pickaxe here. We got the Dark Series pickaxe and we also do have 212 pickaxes to let you guys know. So we got around five DC Series pickaxes, one Frozen Series. We also do have around eight Gaming Legend Series pickaxes and we have four Icon Series and wow, look at this boys. He has three rows of Marvel Series pickaxes as well. Yo, that is actually insanely rare and stacked. Like that is insane, especially when it comes to the Marvel Series pickaxes because they really are hard to find. I mean, it seems like they're not, but I mean, they're not in the item shop all the time. So of course they are a little bit rare. So it is pretty cool seeing again. So we got the Shadow Series Slicer, the Stark Splitter as well from the Shadow Series. We have the Aquari Axe. This is an axe that I really never see. It's from the Slurp Series set. That's pretty dope. We got the Sledgehammer as well. We got four Star Wars Series pickaxes axes here we got the sigil the royal naboo ray quarter staff and we have the mall's pull axe now we got some normal pickaxes here actually this is not normal this is from season two this is the acdc from chapter one season two this is honestly insanely rare boys we got the candy axe of season one which is another pretty rare pickaxe again the candy axe is actually one of my favorite pickaxes in the game if you guys didn't know i absolutely love it i mean how couldn't you like the candy axe it's just such a sick pickaxe we got the permafrost from season five the pip squeak from season three the Rainbow Smash, Reckoning, Spire Flame, Swag Smasher, Eternal Edge, Titan Strike, Zig Chain Blade. We got the Axe Caliber of Season 2, the Baticle of Season 1, the Cat Claws, Chill Axe, Close Shave, Crowbar, which is a rare pickaxe. Again, we are in the rare pickaxes now. Not like rare, meaning rare, but like the blue pickaxes, which are obviously the rares. We have the Josie, the Twin, the Peppermint Pick. Yo, this account is actually so insane so far, though. Like, I mean, we've gotten some pretty good stuff so far. The Scampy Shooting Star Staff, Smash Up, Snake Bite, Snow Globe, Solid Scratch, Sparkle Scythe. We got the Spectral Axe of Season 3. Again, this is a pretty dope pickaxe. I like this one as well. Studded Axe, which is a sweaty pickaxe. We're now getting into the sort of sweaty pickaxes. The Vision is very sweaty. I mean, we see this in all the FNCS competitions, obviously. The Bold Bar. Oh, these are really sweaty. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he has a lot of sweaty pickaxes. This guy must be, like, a pro player or, like, when he had this account. He must have been, like, a pro player the rainbow carver throwback axe you shouldn't have and to end off the pickaxe locker we got the default pickaxe okay before we actually move on to the skins we're gonna look at the emotes and that might be where the unreleased item is but who knows maybe it's in the skin but yeah let's see how many emotes he has and wow he has almost 200 emotes that's actually insane though what i don't know how we're gonna look at 200 emotes but let's just go through these pretty quickly starting off we got the dc series we have three gaming as well and we have three rows of icon series emotes as well we got a row of marvel we got two Star Wars series here. We got the Boing, which is pretty cool. Actually, let's just sort by favorite, I guess. Actually, no, we'll sort by season. I feel like sorting by season's a lot better and it's super easy to, you know, organize everything and see what he actually has that's insanely rare. Okay, so he has the Floss emote from season two. Again, this is an insanely rare emote. Oh, we are in the favorites, so it didn't even show everything. We got the Floss emote, and let's see if he has the Worm. Of course, he has the Worm. If he has the Floss, the Floss was higher than the worm in the battle pass so obviously he would have the worm too if he had the floss but let's see what else he has um we have the paws and claws the springy i'm not really seeing anything else that's like insanely rare in the season two but let's search up season one and see if anything else gets organized and then we can obviously see it but i'm not seeing anything else in here sadly either the crowning achievement okay that's not really that rare 
the high five no it's not rare obviously if you guys want to pause the video to see if there's any rare emotes you guys could do that i really don't want to go through like every single rare emote or emote in general there's literally so many of them but yeah i just can't wait to get to the skins because again this is gonna be really insane like this skin locker even if he doesn't have that unreleased item which i'm really assuming that he does if he doesn't have it then we just got scammed but i mean it's gonna have some pretty insane skins he literally has the renegade raider so we're gonna move on to the skins now and let's see many skins he has he has 274 wow that's actually insane though what but yeah, th there has to be some sort of unreleased skin or something here. You know what I mean? Like, there has to be. Like, he literally has the most insane glider in the game. Literally, the rarest pickaxes and the rarest skin, the Renegade Raider. Now, I really hope he has, like, the aerial assault trooper as well. That would be super dope, too. We got four gaming legend, two icon. Actually, four icon, my bad. We got around three rows of Marvel series skins as well. So, that's actually pretty stacked. And wow, look at this, guys. He has almost every single Star Wars series skin. Wow, that's actually dope. Now, I'm really assuming that he's going to have some sort of unreleased skin. Like, there's literally no way he has the black knight from season two this is again a tier 60 which was tier 100 back in the day so this is literally maxing out your chapter one season two battle pass this is insanely rare as well so it's honestly super dope that he has this as well we got the calamity carbide from season four let's click edit style on this and see what else he has on it okay he does have some more pretty cool styles on that the catalyst dark voyager of season three we have the dire from season six drift enforcer era eternal knight we have the fade fusion gear specialist oh i really like how he upgraded the gear specialist i think it looks super dope the glimmer the havoc from season three oh that's actually really dope as well the havoc is actually a twitch prime bundle exclusive skin now again if you have this you're very lucky you're honestly like insanely og as well a lot of people sleep on this skin but yeah this is like really rare and that means you were back on like twitch in like 2018 too so that that's honestly insane props to you we got the omega from season four okay he has all the styles to it as well let's go we got the power cord from season three braven raptor as well we have the red as Rhodes team leader, the Reaper from season three as well. This is maxing out the season three battle pass. This is obviously from tier 60, or I think it's tier 100. I'm not sure if the tiers got switched because obviously season two is like tier 60 is that's the max battle pass, but I'm pretty sure it's tier 100. So that's actually insane that he has this. We got the Agent Jones, Agent Peely, Battle Hawk, Blue Striker, Bright Gunner. Yeah, he has a lot of skins that were like in the shop a lot in like season one. The Cloak Shadow, Cloud Striker, Cluck, Deep Sea Dominator, Delirium. We got the Dr. Sloan, Dreamflower, Dusk, Dusty, the Elite Agent of Season 3. Let's go. We got the OG Gold Trooper as well. Yo, there's no way right now, bro. This is actually insanely OG as well. Yo, the OG Gold Trooper is like the rarest skin you could find. Besides like the Renegade Raider and Aerial Soul Trooper. But yeah, this is like an insanely OG skin. And the fact that he has this is insane. Because most accounts that I see, like honestly, they'll have the Renegade Raider over the Gold Trooper. Because back in the day, not everyone wanted to buy the Gold Trooper. They usually picked the Skull Trooper because I guess the Skull Trooper does look a little bit cooler. But I mean, now they could have this cool variant of the pink Gold Trooper. And actually, before that, the Gold Trooper was actually rare. It was actually this style only. And then when it got really rare, they decided to change it to this one. And I really like this style, honestly. It makes it a lot cooler and like really exclusive. And if you have this, like shout out to you because that's an insanely rare skin. You got the Healthy High Wire Kit, the Evergreen Lucky, Master Key, Mave. Yeah, the Gold Trooper, again, is something that I never see either. Like on a lot of accounts, I've reviewed like hundreds of accounts and bought a hundred of accounts. And I literally never see the OG Gold Trooper. It's pretty cool to see, to be honest with you. The Sparkle Supreme, Sparkle Specialist as well. Sunny, Tirana, Technique, Thunder, Whiteout, Trailblazer, Yonder, Yeehaw. The Zoe, Zig, Adeline, Artika. We have the Assassin as well, the Baki. We have the Blue Squire from Season 2, which is a another super rare skin yo this account is actually so insane especially these skins like we're getting all the og skins like this is actually crazy boys we got the dynamo fish stick focus now we are getting into the more og skins here we got the recon expert now i'm assuming that this guy bought the recon expert before it actually became like a kind of an iconic skin for fortnite now before it was like an iconic skin obviously i remember when everyone started buying this in the shop this actually used to be the rarest skin in the game and they brought it back and it became really popular but before it was really popular it was literally the rarest skin in the game like almost Almost under a thousand people had it, I think. Or maybe it was like under 10,000. I'm not even sure. It was such a long time ago. But yeah, people who had the skin, they were literally like so lucky. Like this is literally like it was in the shop one time and it came back like a thousand days later. But if you got it, your hands on it, it was literally worth thousands of dollars back in the day. And then we got the Renegade Raider here, of course. Of course, he has the Renegade Raider. We knew he had this from the start. It was obviously equipped in his locker. We got the Royale Knight of season two as well. The Seeker, Scully, Sled Ready Guff. We have the Sparkle Skull as well. Spark Plug, Sunbird. We got the Tree. Trilogy, Triple Threat, Suki, Wooly Warrior, Yellow Jacket, Brute Gunner. We have the Banner Trooper as well. The uncommon skins. Here we go. We got the Cursed Buster. We got Envoy, Holly Jammer, 
Manic, we have the Nightlight as well. Nogops, which is actually another skin that used to be really rare as well. The Power Patroller, Pathfinder, Red Jade, Renegade, Scarlet Commander, Scarlet Defender, Swamp Stalker, Tinsel Toast, Tower Recon Specialist, Whiplash, Whistle Warrior, and to end it off, we got the Yuletide Ranger. Comment down below which was your favorite OG skin previewed in this video. Was it the Renegade Raider, the Gold Trooper, the Sparkle Specialist, or the Black Knight? There were a few more, but comment down below which is your favorite. And if you have it, comment down below as well. I'm honestly really curious what you guys have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe and click a video up on screen. I'll see you guys tomorrow.